Hey guys, it is Michelle from my Sunshine Studio and Sunshine Supply Studio. I am here to give you a quick tutorial on how to make a teething necklace using our DIY teething necklace kits. Each kit can make anywhere from two to six necklaces depending on the kit that you choose. Uh, it comes with the beads, the breakaway clasps, and the cord. You have the option to add on teethers, pacifier clips, uh, and we have a variety of colors, shapes, textures, depending on the kit that you choose. Some of the kits are silicone only, and as you can see here, some of the kits do come with wood beads as well. Uh, if you do choose to add on a pacifier clip, you can use these clips to attach a nook on one side or one of our teething, or one of our teethers. And these you can see are soft, squishy silicone, textured on one side, smooth on the other. And then all of them you will see have a spot to loop the cord through, uh, even the milk jugs. And then again, textured one side and smooth on the other. Babies love these, so you can clip these if your baby doesn't uh, use a nook or a pacifier. You can clip this right to the other end of the pacifier clip. And then you can clip the pacifier clip right to the baby's uh, t-shirt, to your t-shirt, to your baby carrier, whatever works best for you that day. Uh, and you'll see when you open these, they're very sturdy clips, very well made. And all of our clips, our teethers, our silicone beads are all CPSC certified, so they're tested free of any heavy metals or uh, such as BPA, uh, they're tested free of lead, all of that yucky stuff. And you can see the details of that testing in all of our listings. So I'm going to get started today. I already cut the cord. I cut two. Uh, most of our necklaces are 36 to 30 or 35 to 37 inches long, depending on the necklace. I cut one of these for, to about 37 inches long, and then I cut the other one shorter at about 35 inches long, just a couple inches shorter than the other one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a lighter, and on the ends you're just going to warm them up and then roll it between your fingers and that'll help make it easier to bead. And when you're done, you can cut this part off if you want to remove it or it will be hidden underneath the clasp. If you do choose wood beads for your necklace or for your kit, I do recommend that you take your wood beads or your wood rings and take coconut oil. You can use a different oil if there's an allergy or something you prefer olive oil, beeswax, uh, avocado oil, whatever works best for you, and you just rub it on to saturate the wood with the oil. Let it sit for a while so it can really soak it in, and then take a microfiber cloth or any clean dry cloth and just buff the oil off. And you'll wanna do this anytime they dry out, which is not super often, but it does help protect the wood beads from, or the wood beads and the wood rings from moisture if the baby is sucking or chewing on them and just helps with the longevity of the beads. So I'm going to get started. I'm gonna take my shorter necklace, or my shorter cord here, and I am going to open this up. This is one of my favorites. It's gray, white, and marble, and I love the marble beads, so you'll see that I use them in a ton of stuff. All of our kits come in these nice cases and they're bubble wrapped when they're shipped to keep them safe. They're great for gifts. Uh, I've had some people order several of them for baby showers to have kind of a event at the baby shower where people can make necklaces for the mom to be. And this first necklace I'm going to do is just going to be a very basic necklace. And these are one of our more popular styles, actually. And I'm going to use gray clasps since I used the gray cord, or the silver cord. And then what you're going to do is you'll just string that clasp on, loop it around your finger, and tie a knot. And then you will tie a knot at the end as well and get it as close as you can to the clasp. And you do that one more time on the other side. So then these just clip right together and then if they're pulled on too hard 
uh, yanked by baby, anything like that, they just break away, but they're still pretty sturdy, so they stay, you can tell it takes a little bit of strength. Some people do like to knot in between each individual bead. I very rarely do that, um, but I do often knot at the top of the strand. So I'm not going to on this necklace because it's so short, but you'll notice if baby's chewing on the necklace, they'll be pushing the beads. So it does help keep the beads in one spot. And then some people just like it for the extra safety measure of having, you know, one more knot. I'm gonna set that one to the side and I am going to show you the beginning of the next one. I don't know that I will string the whole thing because I don't want to have to keep you guys on here all day. So I am going to use three of these hexagons in the center and you'll see that we like to use a variety of different shapes, sizes, and textures just to keep baby interested. We are happy to make custom kits if there's a custom color that you prefer. And then these are 15 millimeter round beads. And it does help if you set out your pattern ahead of time so that you know what exactly you want where uh, and just how it looks. I didn't this time because I already made this necklace style. It actually is a style that I have in the shop. So if you do prefer finished styles and you like this necklace, you can buy it finished as well. And then we're going to do gray in this 15 millimeter. And then the next one will be this 12 millimeter white. And the sizes that we use most often are going to be the hexagon, the 15 millimeter round, the nine millimeter round, the 12 millimeter round, and then we love the mini roses here. So you can see that even after I finish with pulling the beads that I need, for this, you can see that we still have quite a bit left here. So you can make a matching necklace for your little one if you want to do a mommy and me style. Um, you could also make a pacifier clip, you can make a teether. Uh, some people enjoy making bracelets with them. You can see this is the start of my necklace and I actually already have this one finished so I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished and this is all out of this kit. So this is the necklace all finished and I'll also include the listing here in the comments for this necklace because it is one of my favorites. And if you have any other tutorials or ideas of anything that you would like us to make, you just send us a comment or a message and we can do that tutorial next. I am guessing someone was going to want to see a pacifier clip tutorial as well. We actually don't sell finished pacifier clips. So uh, all we sell is the beads and then the actual clips. We don't send, sell the finished style. So that's a really good one. If that's something you're interested in, that's a good way to get it. And so you can see how much is still left in this kit afterwards. And especially with the 12 millimeter, that would be great for a bracelet or for a mini style. I don't use as much of the 15 millimeter when I'm making bracelets or the kid styles, so I'll use only 12 millimeter and nine millimeter. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let us know. And like I said, if you have any requests, we'd love to hear those too. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.